how do we communicate issues around security to the board? I'm Michael Krigsman. I'm an industry analyst and the host of CXO Talk. And we're speaking with Mark Sunday, who's the chief information officer at Oracle, about this topic. Hey, Mark, tell us about your role at Oracle as CIO. I've been the CIO at Oracle for about a dozen years, and my responsibility is the overall you know, corporate infrastructure that runs our 150,000 person company in roughly 100 countries. So it includes you know, first thing, you know, know, the network that allows everyone to connect together and then the end devices that allow people then to, you know, access it. And perhaps more importantly, enable our individual employees. You spend a lot of time with security leaders and CIOs. What are the key security issues that they face today? It's really been interesting to see the dramatic change in the awareness around security, because quite frankly, the threats have gotten much, much greater. I mean, if I look at the one area that my organization has increased year on year on year, it's what we're investing in security. And we're the norm in that, we're not the exception. But then also the increased sophistication of the threats, increased sophistication of the tooling and so forth required is putting more and more focus on this. And so, you know, it becomes um, really job one. To what extent has security become a board level issue? I think that boards have now become aware that they absolutely have to, they are accountable to assure that the people, the processes, the technology, you know, that all the steps that one needs to do in order to ensure the integrity, confidentiality, privacy, and security of not only a customer's data, the company's data, but in fact, the employee's data as well. What does this mean for CIOs and chief information security officers? Well, I think security is getting its place, you know, at the table, whether it's within the IT organizations, at the uh, corporate level or at the board level, that security has always been something that's been, you know, out there, something that we've had to take into account. But more recently, there have certainly been more high profile incidents that have highlighted just what the impact of security can have. But also, I think it's been highlighted that you need to have the focus, that security is not just the role of the CIO, not just the role of CISO, but it's everyone's responsibility. And it begins with making people aware of what they need to do, what the threats, what the vulnerabilities are, and what their role is in defending against that. And security needs to be built into every line of code we write, every configuration we enable, every computer that we manage the configuration asset, the patching level on, the updates on. It affects essentially, you know, most roles within the organization. When it comes to protecting software, how should CIOs and CISOs think about doing this job effectively? Well, just given the scale, size, complexity, and the opportunity for human error, you know, you really need to take a a holistic, comprehensive, and automated approach towards how you deal with configuration management, change management, vulnerability management. All these are key aspects. It's very difficult if it's done, you know, manually. So you have to look at a comprehensive program that allows you to simplify, standardize, centralize, and automate the, you know, all the aspects of how you deal with those things that, you know, could expose your company to security and privacy concerns. What advice do you have for senior leaders regarding security? Well, I think every enterprise has the security it deserves. So it begins at the very top. It truly begins with the board, the CEO, the executive committee to set the culture and to ensure that the people, process, technology, uh, the governance processes are in place to ensure the security of customers, companies, and employees' information. Mark Sunday, CIO of Oracle. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. Well, thank you. 